Hey, hello guys. Welcome to Jax Technologies. So, in this video, we will discuss about how to install PyCharm in your Windows laptops. Okay. So, let's get into it. So, now, open the command prompt and type Python here. Okay. So, if the Python is already installed in your laptop, it will show the version of Python which is already installed. If it is not installed, it will take you to Microsoft Store by default. So you can get it from here. When you open the command prompt, type Python there and click on enter. Then automatically it will redirect you to Microsoft Store. So for some of the people, it won't open Microsoft directly. So what you have to do, you have to go to Google Chrome and search for Python 3.13. Don't. Now click on the first one and if you come down here you will have multiple options. So check for Windows installer 64 bit and click on this option. Then your file getting your file will be getting downloaded here. So uh, let's wait until it downloads. Now our Python file has been downloaded. Now go to the file location and right click here click, click on run as administrator and give s to the pop up and after that click on install now so now we are done with the installing we are done with installing python so this is the interpreter which we have installed now now Click on close and open another window and search for PyCharm download. So click on the first one which is from jetbrains.com and, and here you can see PyCharm Inified product. Okay. So you have to select this one dot exe for Windows. Click on download. And it will start getting downloaded automatically. So if it if it won't start automatically, you have to click on this direct link. Then it will start downloading. So once you click on that download option, automatically it should start downloading the file. If it won't start, you have to click on this direct link. Then it will start downloading. Okay. Now our file is getting downloaded. Let's wait until it downloads. So now the python software has been downloaded so go to the file location and here here is our python right click here and run as administrator say yes to the pop up click on next next no need to select anything here you just click on next again install so wait for some time it will get installed so now we are done with the we are done with installing the pycharm okay so just click on run pycharm and click on finish so it will launch the pycharm application automatically now Check this I confirm and then click on continue. Click on allow. If you get this option, click on skip import. So uh, this is our this is the welcome window of PyCharm. Just click on new project. So here Python version is there, right? So here you need to select we have installed python 3.13 right so by default it will be selected so if it won't get selected you just click on that and then click on create here so that's it so this is our uh, project window where we are going to learn everything right so just close this what's new in pycharm window and right click here 
click on new and you will have python file so just give some name and uh, the window will be open here you just type print jax technologies and click on this run button and now see you can see the output here right so if you see if you see the output here in the console window then you are good to go so your installation is done and everything is working fine okay if it gives any error you just go here go to settings and click on python and here you have interpreter right so you have to add the interpreter here so if the interpreter is not added then it will give you some error so at that time you have to come to settings and open this python come to interpreter and then add your interpreter click on apply and give ok that's it then if you try to print jax technologies it will give you the output so if you get the output that's it so you are ready to go right so this is how we have to install pycharm in our windows laptops that's it so if you have any queries do comment in the channel then we will review and we will see we will provide the solution right so thanks for watching see you and bye bye